Today we're going to talk about finding a good woman. I know that there are some men out there that are waiting for the Lord to bring them a good spouse, a good woman, and, and you're just waiting eagerly and you're wondering what should you really be looking for? And I want to answer that question in your time. You can read Proverbs, the 31st chapter, uh, verses 10 through 31 in its entirety in your spare time. I'm only going to focus on one verse there because this is a wealth of information here about how to find a good wife. Amen. And, and the scriptures say in verse 10, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. Uh, but the one that I really want to focus on is this, the heart of a husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. Gentlemen, if you're seeing someone out there and you're wondering whether or not this is a good woman, the first thing you need to ask yourself is a question. Do you have full confidence in her? Do you trust her? Are you willing to open up and share everything with her? And knowing that whatever you share with her, it will not be taken for granted. It will not be spoiled. It will not be manipulated. She will not use it to control you. She will not use it to go and tell her girlfriends, her mom, her sisters, or anyone else about what's going on. You could place it in her hands, whether it's your trust, your heart, your, your household, your children, uh, your finances, everything that it is about you, about your career, you won't have to worry about her because you know and this is not just something that is one-sided i want to make that perfectly clear ladies and gentlemen it's not a one-sided deal this is something that is a dual nature but today i'm talking to the gentleman about finding a good wife because right now in our country the last i've heard that there were millions of women who cannot find a good man or a husband. And we'll talk about that at some point in time in the very near future. But given the fact that men have so many choices, and I'm not suggesting by any means that you use that to your advantage to play the field, the devil is a liar. What I'm saying to you is that you have time to look, especially you young men, to look for the character that is of a good woman and a good woman that you know that will be by your side. No, it didn't say under your feet. Didn't say behind you. I said by your side. And Proverbs pretty much stays here. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil whatever you place in her hands it will not fall and spoil or rotten let me walk you through that step of what i mean by that it means you can place the finances that you work hard for in her hand if necessary that's how you choose to handle your finances if that's a decision that the two of you have made when you have a woman that's of a godly character a virtuous woman you can place the finances in her hands and at the end of the month, at the end of the quarter, at the end of the year, at the end of your t 10 years together, you will find that you will have a surplus because a wise woman, a virtuous woman knows how to budget for her household. She knows how to work the numbers she knows how to work the numbers smoothly. She knows how to move it around to this to pay that. She knows what bills must be paid in full every month. And she's going to make sure that there is never an overdraft fee, a bounce check, return check. She's going to spare you from that embarrassment. She's going to make sure that everything financially about your lifestyle together, your home, she's going to make sure that it's worked out. When it comes to her going out to the store and buying clothes and groceries, she's going to find a way to work a bargain. She's going to make it do what it does. She's going to find the bargains. She's going to make sure that she has whatever is necessary for her household. I have a friend, and every single time this friend goes out shopping, she comes home with $700 plus, hear me out, 
$700 or more worth of merchandise. But by the time she works her, her coupons and, and her discounts and everything else that she gets, she ends up paying less than 100 bucks or, or slightly over 100 bucks. I watched it many times in the past where this individual would work what she works. And it was all above board. It was all legal. It was all right. And at the end of the day, she was able to brag and boast to me about what she had saved and how much money she was able to save as a result. And she shops like that continuously. This is the type of person, not only when it comes to finances, but when it comes to the care of the children, she's wise and prudent with that. When it comes to things that are going on in your marriage, she doesn't run out as soon as something happens off to share it with somebody else. She is a woman that will take everything that is bothering her in her household and she will go into her prayer closet. She will shut the door and the only person that she will communicate out to is the Lord. <laughs> That's a wonderful woman right there. She will take it to the Lord in prayer and in her chambers, her prayer closet, when she steps out, she steps out with the confidence that everything is going to be all right. Listen, gentlemen, when you're faced with something, she's the one in your corner praying for you and things are working out and you're not even fully realizing it's going back to the virtuous woman. You entrusted her, even with your frailties, your flaws, weakness, your poor decisions, your indecisions, your indecisiveness, even when you have disagreements with her and heated communications and things may not be going well. She takes all of that in confidence to the Lord in prayer. And when it's worked out, she will never boast. She will never brag. She will never demean you. She will not make you feel less than a man, but she will always be there as a point of encouragement and a source of strength for you. This is the type of woman that is classified in the Bible as a virtuous woman so that you're not exposed when there are weaknesses that happen in your household. She's not going to go out and fly off the handle and expose you so that people will mar your name and your reputation after you've reconciled. No, she's going to make sure that it stays right there and that you two work it out and reconcile. And no one knows what's going on in your home but you. People may ask questions. They may think something is going on. They may even know something is going on through the grapevine, not through her. But she will never communicate it. What she'll say, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I'm, I've got all of everything that I'm dealing with under the blood. You don't need to know my business. But yet God is working things out on my, in my favor and on my behalf. This is a strong woman, a strong characteristic that you want in a wife, especially if you're talking about being with someone for a lifetime. Listen, too many people get married and they run to divorce court when things don't work out the way that they think or thought they should. Listen, come out of the bedroom first, sit at the table, talk to her, find out what's in her heart, then watch, look, Observe, look for consistency, look for persistency, look for areas of maturity. No, she's not going to be a perfect person, not by any means, because we all have flaws. But yet this is a woman who is given to self-improvement and she knows that her self-improvement comes from the Lord, listen, she has such a heart 
that as the years advances and as the two of you grow, she will not see that you grow apart. She will see that you grow together. Because this woman would have taken her vows seriously. She's not a gold digger. She's not in it for the money. She's in it for love. And she's in it for the long haul. Through thick or thin. Through ups or down. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. Until death do us part. That's the type of woman you want. That's a ride or die chick right there. She's going to be right there for you. But on the opposite side of the coin, you also have to be mature in your thinking and what you're looking for. Are you looking for a wife? Are you looking for a girlfriend? Are you looking for a mistress? Or are you looking for someone that your mind is saying, this is one whom I can be with in days to come, months to come? Years to come, and I will still be happy with her. Whether her body stays the same way, whether she still has that hourglass figure or not, whether she gains weight through the years, her heart is what matters. And because her heart is so big, so vast, so full of love, I know. That this is the one for me. A virtuous woman. The heart. The heart. The heart. The heart. The heart. The heart. The, the heart. And the mind. Has 100% confidence in this woman. He knows that when he walks out that door. Or she walks out that door. She's not off to a midnight rendezvous. She's not off to find some Joe on the side. Or is conniving to meet some Joe on the side. He knows that when she leaves that house or he leaves that house, that the roof is on solid. He knows that she knows how to handle herself, regardless of how she's dressed, made up, what type of attire she has on, what type of shoes she's wearing, how good she's smelling. She knows that when she step out, that if she's a bad sister, that there's going to be some unwanted attention directed towards her. But trust me, fellas, this woman that you could put your heart's trust in, when she stepped out, you don't even have to worry because she knows how to handle herself. She knows how to let them know, okay, you can approach me. You can talk to me. We can hold a conversation and I will be cordial and respectful. But you will not disrespect me. I'm a married woman. I'm a happily married woman. And I love my husband. I love the relationship we have. I love the fact that we're together. She'll go on and on talking about you, which won't give anybody else a chance to step in. She doesn't care how persistent they are. Do you know who, what I said? Have you heard what I said? She knows how to handle her business. As you read through Proverbs, the 31st chapter, you will see every single thing that we just talked about in this woman. She knows how to make food for her family. She knows how to cover them with tapestries to keep them warm. She rises up early. She attends to the affairs of her household. Her weight is, is she's worth her weight in gold, gentlemen. She is worth her weight in gold. She is an, an invaluable extension of you. And listen to this. When you find this virtuous woman, the Bible says this. He who finds a wife. Finds a good thing. You hear me, gentlemen. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtaineth favor from the Lord. That means as a result of finding a virtuous woman, 
and what she comes into your life, your life is going to be far more blessed. I'm talking about your substance. I'm talking about your communications. I'm talking about your happiness. I'm talking about your fears and your weaknesses. I'm talking about your joys. I'm talking about your time that you spend together. I'm talking about having a family together, having a home together, and being established for years to come. Because a woman by their nature, when you give them something, they t return it with an increase. When you have a virtuous woman, she'll return an increase into your life. Or you can get a woman from the opposite side of the tracks of this conversation. And you'll get an increase as well. An increase of headaches, a hit increase of nagging, an increase of, of bounce checks, an increase of bill collectors calling you, an increase of the children off the chain, an increase of difficulty, an increase of gossiping, an increase, an increase of every negative thing imaginable. That's why you got to find your rib. Adam was put to sleep. Adam was placed in a deep sleep by God. So that God could take that rib out of him and make the perfect match for him. Here's a prayer that you should pray. Follow my suggestion, young man. Father, you know me. Now send me the perfect me for me. You didn't catch that. The rib came out of Adam. He took something out of Adam to make the perfect match for Adam. God has a perfect match for you. And when that person comes into your life, she will be your soulmate. And you will be so overjoyed and so compelled that you won't hold anything back from her. Because she will complete you. We don't look for the one that completes us. We look for the one that's appealing to our eye and our sensual appetite, as opposed to looking at the heart of the individual. We look on the exterior, but God looks on the interior. God told Samuel this when he went to Jesse's house to anoint a king over Israel, that none of the sons that were standing there were any of the ones that he had chosen. And he said, I don't look on the outward appearance, but I look at the heart. When David showed up, the oil flowed. David was anointed. Listen, who will the oil flow on for you? Who is anointed to be your spouse? And who is the one anointed to be there to align with your purpose, your personality, your pursuit, your ambitions, your desire, your goals, and will be a complement to it forever. Men, when failure is looming, this woman will rebuke it. When things aren't going well, she will pray and will be on her face before God on the behalf of you and your family. I want to submit to you as I close out today that this is the one thing that you want in your life. Rubies, diamonds, pearls, and gems. I'm talking about a virtuous woman. Even when your purse, pocketbook, wallet is empty, that woman makes you wealthy. I pray today that God send you Hear my heart, send you, man of God, that he sends you, that virtuous woman, to align you with the next step in your purpose in life. God bless you. This is Apostle William Whitfield. Just saying to my brothers out there, be in carriage. God is going to send the right one. Amen. Amen.